Hello, YouTube. Luigi here. It is the evening of the 8th of November, 2015. It occurs to me we're uh, zeroing in on Christmas. And I'm offering one of my pieces here at a uh, very good Christmas special price. Some of you uh, only know my YouTube channel as uh, dealing and collecting folding knives. Some of you know me as a retired architect, but I'm also a sculptor. And this is a piece... Uh, that I'm offering this year. You know, created, insured, shipped to your door anywhere in the continental United States, $1,400. Let's talk about the piece. This is a, an original hand carving. I carved this with my own hands. The material is a, I call it a uh, proprietary composite. But I can tell you this because you deserve to know, its basis is plaster but it's mixed with other highly secret ingredients. So I've come up with something unique here. It's about 18 inches tall. My guess is this piece probably weighs, oh, 30 pounds. Okay. It's called, I call it the remarkable Ichnaten. History calls him Akhenaten. Akhenaten was the pharaoh father of King Tut. Akhenaten was also known as the great monotheist. He got rid of all the temples that were serving a panoply of deities, all kinds of multi-gods, and the priesthoods, the corrupt priesthoods in Egypt hated him because they were making a fortune off their gods, and he builds all these temples to one god. He was the great monotheist, and he used as the symbol of this god the sun. They were not sun worshippers. Very important distinction to make. The sun was the symbol of this deity. So here you're looking at him straight on. Remember, he's about 18 inches tall. Slightly different lighting. Side shot. Uh, the other side. The real Ichnaten was said to have an elongated skull. And if you watch Ancient Aliens, where he's a frequent, makes frequent appearances, not only did he have an elongated skull, but his parents were aliens. It has a really nice, well-applied hammer tone finish to it, which I just love. Another shot. Different lighting. Now this is how it comes, as you see it, without a base. Without a base. That's how I'm shipping this one. And that's why it's uh, the price is where it is. Also for sale is the exact same piece cast in bronze. Because this is bronze, I can't ask $1,400 for it. I have to ask $14,000 for this. It's the same piece. The mold was made from the original plaster carving. Whole different story, isn't it, in bronze? I know it's a little uh, rich for a lot of people's blood, but as long as I was doing a video of one, I uh, decided to do them both. This is a detail of the pharaoh's beard. You know, even women uh, applied these ornamental beards. It was a sign of something in Egypt. Here's his elongated skull. He has neither ears nor a mouth. And you can think about the significance of that. Here's a detailed shot of the face. The back. Very nice photo. Some of these photos are by Peter O'Brien, I have to say that. Detail of the back of the head. And you see how it drapes down here. Well, there you go. You can get in touch with me via YouTube uh, private messenger. You know, or you can just leave a comment, and I'll give you my email address, and we can talk further. But you can have this definitely by Christmas. To tell you the truth, its crate is already built because I had to ship the plaster to the founder. So uh, this is ready for immediate turnaround. All right, thanks for looking. The Remarkable Ichnots, and I choose the spelling that they use in the Urantia book. History calls him Akhenaten. Thank you for looking. God bless you. Stay safe out there. I love you all. Bye-bye.